video you're chasing a story. It's a heartbreaking story of a nine year old girl who is battling leukemia. And now it seems that her and her mother may actually be homeless. What do you got? Bill, it was really touching to actually meet with nine year old Casey. She's a beautiful little girl. She was diagnosed with leukemia at two years old and now she's in the hospital because she got a bone marrow transplant to fight the cancer, but her body rejected the donor, so now it's attacked her skin. Oh my God. I met with Casey at the hospital. Casey, when I got there, was asleep. She was actually attached to a machine. I could see an IV drip, and she's getting treatment because of the bone marrow transplant that caused another disease, and she's getting treatment for that. Um, Bradford's host disease is when the donor cells doesn't re recognize the host. Okay. So it attacks her organs. So Got right it. now it's attacking Casey's skin. I asked her mother, Tracy, how are they dealing with all this? It has completely changed Tracy's life. I'm a single mom and it's, it's really hard. The nurses are not allowed to take her by themselves. Mm -hmm. So I have to be at the hospital with her. Tracy left her job to take care of Casey full time. Right now they're living with Tracy's aunt in the Bronx, but at the end of the month, the aunt is moving to Georgia, so they will have no home. Casey is the most wonderful little girl you'll ever meet. Uh, she loves her iPad like most nine-year-olds. And when I was there, she was actually picking music on her iPad. And one of her favorite stars is actually Adam Levine of Maroon 5. And she was actually singing animals with me and she knew the words better than I did. Tracy and Casey and Lily need your help for, to have a home. So if you want to contribute, uh, we're tweeting right now. The hashtag is home for Casey and you can also donate to support our Casey.com. Two questions come to mind. Um, when she quit her job, I mean, what was the plan? Did she have a plan? Did she have, did, was there another circumstance that changed and all of a sudden their money ran out? Did something else happen or did she kind of know this is coming? Casey's her life. So when her child got sick, that was it. She was only gonna worry about Casey. She quit her job because she had no choice. It's also emotionally draining because this is my child. How can our viewers help? To help out, you can donate to supportourkc.com. And I asked her, what is that money for? She has insurance right now, so it won't go towards medical bills, but it will go towards getting Casey a home so she's not homeless. Okay.